with Mixed Cat. Today we're doing a beer review for Land Shark. Um, this is a beer I've had a while back. Um, I honestly don't remember what it tastes like very much. I know it wasn't one of my favorite beers, but I don't think it was too too bad. This is actually from uh, Margaritaville Brewing Company. And you can see it's a clear bottle. I'm not a big fan of uh, clear bottles. Um, if you got a clear bottle, it leaves uh, lots of she's gonna come out. Lots of room for the sun to uh, damage the beer. If you got a green or a brown bottle, it, it protects the beer inside. Um, not a bad color to it. It's a, a nice gold beer. Um, head on there, just about two fingers of a head. Not too bad. Hopefully you can see the action's really good on it. CO2 streaming from the, the bottom there. It's really, really just bubbling away. Well, hopefully you guys had a great Friday. Um, mine was pretty good. We had a decent day at the shop. Um, no complaints. So life is pretty decent. And you can hear in the background one of my neighbors is having a party apparently, so just use the music in the background. It's interesting smell to it, not super hoppy smelling, kind of got a grassy, malty smell to it. It kind of looks like um, they went for the Corona look. Let's give it a go. Again, this is Land Shark. It's a very light tasting beer. A little sweetness right off the, the top. Very similar to Miller High Life, honestly. That caliper of beer. Um, and just to give you kind of an idea, six pack of this Land Shark was um, almost about seven dollars. It was six and change. Where a six pack of uh, Miller High Life would be somewhere around there. So, um, definitely about the same caliper tasting, uh, price-wise a little bit more. It's not bad. Definitely can use some lime, like a Corona. I'm not a big Corona fan, but it's not bad. Um, and you can see, it's streaming away like crazy. Plenty of action to it. The head subsided a little bit. It's a real white head. Not much to it. Lacing's okay. But it's a fresh tasting beer. It's, it's not bad, for sure. Um, it's a, probably a hair better than Miller High Life. But very, very, very similar tasting. Um, High Life has got like that grassiness to it, and not much hops at all. It's got really the same hallmarks as that Miller High Life, but it's it's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Um, out of five, I'd probably give this about a three out of five. Um, not my favorite beer, but it's not bad. It's definitely light. I'm gonna guess it's probably. 4% alcohol by volume, not much more than 4%, definitely no alcohol taste to it whatsoever. Refreshing, um, ice cold on a hot day, it would be a, a good choice. If you catch it on sale, grab it. That's Land Shark. Thanks for watching Mixed Cat Beer Reviews and hopefully you guys have a great weekend. I do have a lot more videos coming up real soon, doing some uh, more sky videos. I got some interesting uh, lenses coming in that'll make um, looking at the moon and some of the uh, constellations a lot better. So I'm excited for that new gear and um, I'll update you guys when I have it. Well, thanks for watching Next Cat Beer Reviews. You guys have a great weekend. Take care. Drink good beer.